normally we have three ferries running here which gives us uh, the resources to do, offer a 10 minute frequency from both sides of the crossing. Uh, then we drop off to off-peak, two ferries, then one, one ferry overnight. So obviously if one ferry goes away for refit, our maximum is two. So we can offer a 15 minute service from both sides during that refit period of six weeks. So obviously that's going to affect journey times a bit, but uh, regular users have been through refits before. They know it's going to take a few minutes more to get to cross the river. Um, so uh, we hope users will remember that for this refit as well. The vessels need maintenance, like all uh, transport infrastructure, um, and we do a lot of it off-peak. When we've only got two ferries running, we can use the third ferry to do some basic maintenance. Then we do some things like chain changes and changing some of the drive components during our weekends when we need uh, several hours to do each activity. But some things have to be done in the dry, uh, recoating the whole vessel because um, paint coating can protect it from corrosion, but also our regulatory body, the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency, require us <coughs> to have the vessel in dry dock every five years anyway to do their inspections. And we also choose to be in class, as they say, with Lloyd's Classification Society, which gives another level of, um, of, of assurance that the ferries are in good shape. Every refit recoating is done, the whole vessel is re repainted. <clears throat> in some cases we strip back existing coatings, but if they're sound we may overcoat. Um, and then periodically we then strip the whole of the vehicle deck off and repaint the whole back to bare metal and recoat that. Uh, this time we're not needing to do that on, on the plim. Um, then various components in the machinery space, the engine room, will need to be replaced. Um, and then some components wear out in different cycle times. Some things wear out every five years, some every 10 years. Electronics obsolescence kicks in around 10 to 15 years. So we have had to replace quite a lot of our electronic components. Um, and this time around, we're replacing some key components in the, in the drive system. These are the couplings between the electric motors that drive the vessel and the big chain wheel that grips the chain and pulls the ferry across the river. This uh, group of three refits, uh, the tender was won by AMP Falmouth, so the ferry will be taken down to Falmouth for that work to be done. The ferry as it is on the river isn't fit to go outside the estuary, so various bits of strengthening work have to be done to modify the prows, that's the, the, the um, articulating ends of the vessel where vehicles usually go on and off. They have to be raised <coughs> and held up in a rigid position for the tow. We can only be towed in certain weather conditions, uh, sea state 3 and low wind speed uh, but in the right circumstances the ferry tow takes about six hours. It's brought back with the same strengthening put on the prows, put on the chains, take all those strengthening elements off then run up various systems on the ferry and do several trial crossings check everything's working properly and then go back into service. So the re-entry re to service takes a few days as well as the departure for the tow to the refit. The ferries are now 17 or 18 years old so we're doing one or two things now for the first time, and so there's a level of risk involved in that, but a lot of planning goes into it. We're using very experienced suppliers um, and subcontractors to do the work, so uh, we try to keep the risk to a minimum.